Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another Monster Jeans adventure so today we're back with episode 3 I'm gonna try my best to get myself my first legendary monster in the game This is going to be super exciting because I will uh, try to get my first legendary monster Hopefully we will end up getting it if not that's that's completely fine with me you know uh, But anyways I hope you guys are excited for today's video If you are smash the like button subscribe to the channel with the on Anyways let's go ahead and get started well, Ladies and gentlemen take a look at this play in the dungeons I unfortunately can't just yet remember because I have to complete the uh, no 10 adventure map So this can just wait I guess We're just gonna go ahead and X out of that um, But here's the thing um, I haven't really made too many progress just besides doing my collection here and there honestly um, So let me go ahead and collect all my food first of all repeat all we're gonna get some coins from it We're gonna take these obstacles and I'm gonna go ahead and remove more obstacles right in the meantime Why not um, if we head over to our worker here? It costs 50 gems to get a third one Unfortunately, we don't have enough gems or else I'd probably do it I mean, that's literally what you should do when you're starting off You know try to get as many worker huts as, uh, as possible because later on you will need to build lots of uh, temples farms uh, habitats remove all these obstacles and stuff like that it is just so much so it is you know very very um good in the beginning to you know purchase as many worker huts as possible uh especially as a free-to-play player because you don't really have access to the extra one in the legends pass you know what i mean so anyways here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and sell this for the 50 coins we're gonna take this we're gonna repeat this sorry oh all right, we're gonna go and repeat it. Get another 50 coins. Remember, that's how we—that's how you get 100 coins by breeding two tender eagles, and then also selling the tender eagle egg. Okay, I actually explained that on my second uh, episode. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But anyways, now that we got all that, by the way, I did unlock monster wood. They just give it to me straight away. I literally just locked in yesterday. I think it was uh, when I was doing my collection. I literally just locked in, and they were like, "Here you go, monster wood." You know. So right now, it looks like I don't have any tasks available, so they're not giving me surveys or tasks. But what they are giving me is access to monster wood where I can get myself like lots of gems from watching these um, ads and stuff like that. So I guess I have like a Walmart version of monster wood basically right now. Uh, they don't really give me access to the other two. Alrighty guys, so um, here is where I kind of ended off. Um, I could have actually gotten the monster but I wanted to do it in this video. So I should have enough actually. I mean 260, let's say the next one is like 300 or something and then the next one is like 340 ish or something i should be able to get it right so they give you a legendary habitat right about there so for 260 coins you might as well get yourself that habitat and normally that costs about 2.5 million gold which um which is kind of expensive right like right now we don't really have that much we got the 100k food because i actually moved um it was one of the nodes right here so when you move king traumas right there should be one of these nodes right here that will give you a hundred thousand food. So I highly recommend moving him there, okay? Just keep moving until you get that a hundred thousand food. But take a look at this. 290 coins again. I thought it would be like around 300, but it's 290. Um, and it looks like we got 1k gold out of this. And now finally, we are going to get ourselves the one and only Prince Traumas. I called it King Traumas earlier. I was referring to the mythic version. I forgot they have different names. But yeah, Prince Traumas, you guys ready? There we go. We just got ourselves our first legendary monster, guys. Prince Traumless. Look at that. All right, so we're going to head over to our storage. By the way, I got myself a ton of necks. Um, how did I get them? Oh, yeah. I got ton of necks from that one free reward that they give you in here, you know? Remember, uh, if you guys watched my first episode, they give you like a random reward when you log in 24 hours later. I thought I was going to get that epic monster, but they didn't give it to me. They gave me that ton of necks. And um, I don't know if I should hatch it. I kind of want to, but right now, as you guys can see, my hatchery is busy. And soon I'll go ahead and hatch King Trauma. So I think I'll just leave it like that. But yeah, 21 gems right now. I'm staying at 21. Um, what I could do right now is get rid of this, which costs 6 gems. You know what? I'll go ahead and do it because I want to hatch my King Traumas as soon as possible. Why do I call it King Traumas? Ah, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You can, Prince Traumas, that's what it is. It's a nature attacker and extra turner that can chain several attacks. So it's a really good legendary to start off with. Now, like I told you guys, uh, any monster you start off with is good in the beginning. So literally, any monster you obtain, whether it's a legendary, what's a, whether it's um, a rare monster or an epic, it is going to be good, okay? So yeah, you don't really have to worry about that as much. Now, the legendary monster they give you... You can go ahead and use this and I hope that you can just place it instantly. Nice! Alright, that's cool. It saves us time. It actually does. That saves you a lot of time. Um, so if you didn't obtain that like that way, like where you had to actually just uh, buy one and then place it, it takes like a day and 22 hours or something like that, which is like two days or so. And it's really not good. It's not cool. It's going to take too much time. But anyways, 
we're gonna go ahead and repeat all of this here and what i'm gonna do since this is already built right that is going to be for my monster print traumas here that i'm gonna place hopefully it's going to be by next episode or so but anyways we're gonna head over to the shop we're gonna head over to um i kind of want to do habitat so i can build more of those nature habitats uh it's seven out of 11 right now um no you know what it's whatever i think we'll just not build anything else uh, what i will be doing though is trying to get rid of all these obstacles here so you want to clear all these obstacles while you're also upgrading and building new habitats and stuff like that because these obstacles can get in your way it's not really cool so make sure to get rid of those now this island right here costs about 400k gold you don't have to worry about it just now until you fill all your um like the whole thing in here you fill it with monsters or let's say you get tons of gold and you're like okay i can actually go ahead and manage this then you can go ahead and spend that 400k gold and you're like oh i got it you know what i mean and then from there on you also have to get rid of these um rocks and stuff like that which is going to take a lot of time especially this one this is 32 hours which is the biggest one right 500,000 gold which is quite a lot it costs more than the island itself which is actually kind of insane right so yeah it's gonna cost you quite a lot uh now the thing is guys you guys remember when i did my previous beginner series monster wood was right about here and not later until i purchased this island that's when they give me access to a monster wood so i feel like if you actually just start off right away in a day or two they should give you monster wood since it's in the first island so that's a good thing that's actually a good thing but anyways what we're gonna do here is remove this which is gonna take like 10 minutes or so and um also you see these relics yeah i'll probably make my video once we unlock it Right now, you don't really have to worry to, about it as much. You'll unlock it once you get to level 30. So level 30, that's when you unlock the forge and you can start using relics and stuff like that, equipping them here and there on your monsters. So that's what it basically is. It basically helps your monsters become more powerful. Um, you know, they can perform a lot better in, uh, in battles and stuff like that, like PvP, adventure map, or whatever other battle that you're going into. So it's really good, I've got to say. Um, relics are a great addition, but um, right now, I don't think it's like the best time. So we're going to go ahead and enter here. And uh, we got turtle, we got fire puppy, that's what they call it. Normally they're called like fireline or something like that. But we're just gonna go ahead and use our normal team here. And we're gonna start off with Harry Paul. We're gonna do the deep lash. We get rid of the water monster, that's good because we have two fire monsters in here and they can deal quite a lot of damage to my fire monsters, right? Now, um, these other two monsters will deal quite a lot of damage to my nature monster because of their uh, element advantage. And for me, it's element disadvantage, right? But, anyways, we should be able to eliminate them. There we go and we got our victory and now um, they're almost especially the fire star and trees are they're close to leveling up the other one kind of close but um maybe by next battle we'll be able to level it up or so but uh we're almost at level nine we don't really have to worry about leveling up as much i just want to do this to get some of these resources from adventure map because they are helpful okay so this right here, it's a level 7 pandakin. It's a wild pandakin, so be careful. Now, uh, I don't think there are any strategies besides maybe using a water monster or something like that. So you have element advantage. But it's not like there are items and stuff like that anymore. Unfortunately, they got rid of all those items. Things like that, so it kind of sucks. But anyways, what I do recommend doing is not using any nature or fire skills against it. Because, because what's it called? Um, it's going to be weak. Look at this. You see how weak it is? You can deal more damage using physical attacks instead. So just keep spamming your physical attacks over and over again. Now, let's say you end up losing your first battle. What you could do is retry and hopefully he'll spread his attacks like how he is doing right now. You see how he's not going for a specific monster every time? He's spreading his attacks and dealing damage to everybody. So that's good. That's actually a good thing. Now, we did get our ultimate here. I could use it, deal quite a lot of damage and apply the daze which actually reduces the, uh, the enemy's power and accuracy and also the burning won't really land because it's immune to burning so that won't really help me out but i, I mean i could but i'll win it without that because i know some players watching this they're like oh you got your way in you know by using your ultimate you got lucky no you can still beat it without your ultimate look at that i just beat it without the ultimate so yeah you can still do it without ultimate now when your monsters die like that you see what i mean they don't really gain any XP and stuff like that. So you can't really level them up that way when they die. So make sure they survive. And when they survive, you, you know, it helps them level up. Now, we get a new skill as well for this monster. Look, this just popped up because we just leveled it up to level 7. So this is um, a low nature damage and then it heals itself by 20%. It's cool. It's actually a good skill. That one's actually really good. So whenever you need 
some type of heal you can use it to deal damage and also to heal yourself and we got to level 9 let's go all right temple temple of thunder uh this sparkling temple allows you to increase the maximum level of your thunder monsters to level 20 so that's good That'll be good for my Thunder Monsters, like for example, Thunder Eagle and stuff like that. So we could worry about temples maybe next episode. For this episode, my main goal was to get myself my first Legendary Monster. And of course, um, beat the Note 5 on Adventure Map, which we just did, which was a Panic and Monster, right? So now, you know, these guys are just, love, you know, they're taking care of these things. So what I'm thinking about doing is saving up my gems just so that later on, what the heck is a Monster Chest? Don't purchase this, by the way. When you see this, don't purchase it. It's a scam. All these other ones, you see? They're not worth it, guys. They're not worth your gems, okay? Do not purchase them. The only one you should purchase would be the wooden chest, which gives you a random reward, and it could be good, it could be bad, but it's only 500 gold, so you might as well. The, the gems ones, I don't recommend them, guys. Do not. Do not purchase them. I don't recommend. Um, but yeah, like I said, my main goal was to, of course, complete Note 5 and Adventure Map, and also to get myself uh, Prince Traumless. And once you're obtaining... Traumless, you will also get yourself a legendary habitat which you can just place on your island so that's really really helpful but now i want to save my gems so that later on i can actually purchase myself um this thing here let me see if we head over to the buildings what you want to purchase yourself would be the worker hut because worker hut will help you out quite a lot it helps you so much so i highly recommend you know uh, investing in worker hut and besides that also later on you will be able to purchase yourself another a breeding mountain like this one right here so you have two breeding mountains that you can use so that's really good i've got to say i'm gonna go ahead and repeat all of this and yeah so i'm glad i got my first legendary monster now i don't feel so bad about um skipping the mccreamy breeding event because with mccreamy breeding event what it was is that it, it was based on luck you know i might have gotten it i might have not so i didn't really, really want to um risk it so what i did was i just did my collections regularly every four hours and now i got myself you know prince traumas which is going to help me out near the beginning later on of course we're going to stop using it once we obtain like doom mythics and stuff like that but for now it should help us out right but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy today's monster gens adventure i hope you really enjoyed episode three if you guys did please 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 drop a like on this video share this with any of your friends that are either starting off or just playing monster gens and stuff like that or you want them to get into monster gens they can become monster masters as well it's not too late right this is episode three but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy guys once again let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part was but thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out